Hello everyone and welcome to this new game on the channel and today we are going to play Before We Leave and Before We Leave is a new non-violent city building game which will be released on the 8th of May in 2020 and uh, I really want to thank the people from Balancing Monkey Games for providing me with a key for this game so I can give you guys a first look on this game and I already played the tutorial so uh, we can jump right into a a new game so I'm gonna just keep all the uh, settings like this so you will have uh, five different planets I will explain uh, the game while we are playing it um, uh, but yeah let's uh, jump right into it so when you first open up this game it really looks like civilization and the people on the internet uh, mostly compare it with uh, anno and civilization um, so basically it is a city building game and you will colonize different islands you will set up different trade routes and you will have different resources and yeah basically you will have to make sure that the people are happy so this is a post apocalyptic world and uh, you will already see all these uh, different things we can research and uh, uh, explore as well so yeah let's uh, start with the basics so we have to start by building some new houses and basically every building you place has to be connected with a road so you will have this a little build road thing over here uh, so we can build different roads and um, let's just start by creating some new houses for our people so basically this is the bunker where all the people are coming from so these people have been living under the ground for hundreds of years and now they can finally go up again because yeah probably all the radiation is gone and as you can see you can just drop down the houses and all the lovely people will start building it of course the people also need some food so we can uh, create a potato field right now everything I can just throw it down and it will start growing but later on it will get a little bit more complicated so let's put some extra roads down and let's start by building a wood cutter so a wood cutter needs to be ejected to some forest of course which sounds uh, very logical so I'm gonna put it down here so the wood cutter chops down trees to produce wood and the peeps working here are less affected by a movement penalties okay let's uh, jump or let's throw it down here and the people will start building it so you will need the wood to um, yeah build these houses and we are going to produce some food over here let's see and of course the people also need some water so let's build a well as well <laughs> nice so there are also some penalties from being next to a accommodation being next to animal fields or production will be slowed by pollution uh, but yeah for now I'm just uh, gonna check if I can just build uh, something nice in this uh, first episode so let's see on top of here you can show food and drink resources so uh, we have some potatoes and we have some water so we have to make sure uh, that the people will have enough food and water to survive and once we got that one going we are going to build a explorers hut and this explorers hut will start investigating stuff like this so a ruined generator a transport a griffier a griffier I don't know but basically we are going to need this one to do some research and the research is done in the library which sounds uh, very logical so uh, I'm gonna build a library as well so we can start expanding the village you can already see that the number is starting to get red so that means we don't have enough people and that also means I don't have enough space for people to live so I'm gonna build some extra houses and let's build another one here of course this building takes some time so you can also double the speed and you can even increase the speed four times so uh, the game will go a little bit faster you can also see that it gets dark and stuff like that really really nice I really like the look of this game by the way it's like um, you can only place the buildings in the grid just more or less like civilization um, but it 
yeah the, the trading routes and stuff have more the anno feeling over it so yeah let's just discover this game uh, by uh, by playing it so this one is waiting for some resources and uh, we are going to need some tools uh, wood and not enough stone so to produce some tools we're gonna need uh, this building and um, you just have to click this one and this one will start producing tools uh, this is the probably the less efficient way but later on in the game we can start expanding it by uh, getting some iron ore and stuff like that to produce our own tools but for now we are going to do it like this and we also need some stone so in the beginning to get some stone we have to cut down some trees so you can see we get five wood and one stone for demolishing these trees and with that we also get some extra space to expand our city so you can see we start getting some stone in and some extra wood as well there you go let's try to build another wood cutter just to make it go a little bit faster so let's put the let's get a road in first we always have to put in a road first and then we put a wood cutter in Bam. nice so that means we got our first tools and the library is finished as well so if we click on this one it pops up a research menu and the first thing we have to research is the elevator and the elevator is gonna make sure that we can climb up these rocks so we can start uh, getting some stones as well so let's start with researching the elevator and I'm, I'm really I don't like waiting so I'm gonna expand the amount of wood that we're getting as well and we're gonna speed it up a little bit so the elevator research is done so now we have to try to find a nice spot to get up this little hill and right here we have our elevator let's throw it down and the people will automatically start building it and there it goes so it's finished uh, let's build a road towards these things and this is a mountain and it has a huge remnants of the ancients and can be mined for stone so um, yeah we have these mountains so we have to build a quarry but we didn't research it yet so let's take a look at that so we have to research a mining over here allows construction of quarries which produce stone um, so yeah let's research that one and you can see that the research is using this green research and um, that one is being produced by this explorers hub so we will have to wait until this one is finished it's almost there perfect and thank you very much and then we can build a query so let's put it one here and one here as well you have to keep in mind our potatoes as well so make sure we have it enough so let's put one here and um, yeah let's put one here as well so this is the ruined ship and we have to repair this one before we can start exploring the ocean so that's basically our first goal to fix this one we have to have uh, enough stone enough tools and enough wood first let's uh, get some extra tools again because we don't have enough tools to start building these quarries and in the meantime we can maybe do some extra research so before we can start repairing the boat or the ship so uh, this repair thing in the research allows repair of the ancient ruined building so uh, let's start that one and then our production of our stone has started you can see the food is going up our water is going up so everything is perfect so we got our first stone made right here and the repair research is also completed that, that was fast so we also have to make sure that our people are happy which is really important of course um, so we can also take a look at the people itself so this is Paul his, he snores and Paul is fetching green research so he's doing a, a very good job with that 
and as you can see over here we can expand our types of food basically uh, but before we can do that we have to do some research again of course and the research I want to do is gardening uh, before we can do the gardening I will start researching a warehouse and the warehouse we need to store some extra food and some tools and wood uh, basically anything all right so that one is almost finished yes there you go so we can start building a warehouse and a warehouse takes up two different grids important even divided its space amongst the selected resources let's see yeah let's build one right there and of course we need some extra tools so let's do that and let's start expanding our little village so let's build a house over there and over there and let's see maybe we can expand it right here a little bit so another house and another house so very good no peeps are working here because there aren't enough peeps in reach okay so that's good that we uh, just started producing some houses whoa okay that was really really cool <laughs> this this happens all the time when you produce some tools i get scared all the time but anyways so we done the warehouse research and then we can start the gardening research and with the gardening we can start expanding the amount of food that we have so let's do uh, that research first so once we build a warehouse we have to check which food or drinks or basically any materials we want to store in this warehouse for for now i'm gonna select all of them so we can store basically anything in this warehouse all right so the gardening is finished and uh, maybe we can already start on the metal work so then we can start uh, producing our own tools so the metal work allows construction of a iron mine iron smelter and a toolsmith which produce iron and tools so that's what we want next and now we can start expanding the amount of food so we will have a vegetable field let's put one here and let's expand this road towards this side let's put another vegetable field in here and we can also produce some tea so this is the tea field and by producing tea um, we also make our people happier and happier people will start working a little bit harder of course so that's a uh, pretty realistic when I'm not happy I won't be working uh, very hard of course so um, yeah the uh, the nice people are building these lovely fields and we got our first uh, vegetable made so the metalwork research is also done so let's see we have to start producing some iron but for that we need a rusting hulk as the vast machines of the ancients rusted into oblivion and can be mined for iron ore. So that sounds good. That's a long way from our village, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see if we, uh, we just build a road to the other side. Let's remove that one. Speed it up a little bit. There you go. Let's build a road all the way down here. I'm not sure if it matters where I build everything. I have no clue. How am I gonna do this? So we need another elevator. There you go. And then we will need a iron mine. Now we can build everything from there. And of course we need some tools that's basically why we are building this so we don't have to click this building all the time we don't have enough people so let's build a road and some extra houses over here and it's really starting to look like an actual village right now it seems that the long road doesn't really matter the people are just okay with walking this far i have no clue right now like how far this is or i don't know if it matters but yeah, we will see later on in the game. I'm really, really curious where this game will get us or where this leads to, what the final goal is. Probably 
to get to another planet as I've seen in the uh, in the videos you can build a rocket we can explore different planets so yeah that's basically the, the goal probably for this uh, game so yeah our iron mine is finished so we have to start producing the tools let's see if I can find it right here so we have a iron smelter and which turns iron ore into iron so let's put it down there so there's a lot of pollution coming from these buildings so I think it's probably a good idea to um, build these far away from the people but we might have to build some houses here as well uh, it's, I think it's far enough from these buildings but I just want to make sure that the people are close enough to um, start working in these buildings so let's see how this is going so they are building some houses for us all right perfect that one is finished and then the next one will be the toolsmith which will start producing our tools this one is low on power so apparently we need some power for this building to operate let's check how much power you are generating and i'm not generating any power but there should be something like a yeah like a ruined generator and this ruined generator is gonna produce our power and uh, once we click this repair button the people will start repairing it and the, we will have power for our iron smelter but for now i want to expand the amount of houses again sometimes this number will turn red that means we don't have enough people or we don't have enough houses for all the people so let's build some houses let's check on our food production there's not a lot of tea there's nothing stored at all so let's expand that one as well so let's produce some extra tea and some extra vegetables let's remove that one it looks like the production of tools has started that's cool that's cool but for now i'm still gonna use this one so we can get some uh, extra tools going on and our water is going down that's not good so let's build another well so let's build a well let's see let's create a road towards this side and create another well Ah, see our tea is going up and we don't have any fruit but we do have vegetables our water should go up pretty soon so we should have enough to start repairing our ruined ship let's make sure we get some tools going and again this number is red so um, i want some more people to live here some extra houses let's do one here expand this road again towards this side build some houses looks like people are having a party or something here somewhere for your peeps to live store food and drinks for them to refresh themselves with peeps don't have a job yet or can't get enough to eat and drink while we will wait over there ah cool so let's uh, do some research again so we can do let's see school uh, allows construction of schools islands with empty economy accommodation and school will create children will grow into peeps yeah that sounds logical so we're almost there with the repair ruined ship so the, uh, the repair is going pretty okay ah, see so now we have enough houses so we have available housing for 60 people and we have 50 people living there so once we reach the limit we have to build some extra houses again all right so the school research is completed let's see if we can do another one a bridge that allows construction of bridges between tiles uh, i'm not sure what it will do i'll probably create bridges but yeah, let's see let's research that one and you can see that the research tree is actually pretty big so that uh, it, that looks promising actually so this is on only the alpha version of course so uh, maybe it will expand on the full release i'm not sure but for now it looks like we can spend some hours in this game so we have researched the school so we can build one and um, let's put one yeah let's just throw it down there we have some room left over here so um, yeah let's put another house over there might not be the most uh, 
yeah beautiful spot for people to live but yeah we'll see next to the wood generator almost there almost there let's speed up a little bit there you go we have our first ship that's been constructed and our boat is ready see there you go now we can start exploring so let's select our ship there you go and let's start exploring the world and see if we can find a new island maybe here what's this oh it looks like i found the arctic nice oh this looks creepy this looks creepy oh oh and the air shimmers from the heat your ship has discovered a new island but there's no lush grass to be found here it's desert as far as the eye can see You've heard that ancient humans once buried treasures in these places like this, so... But you doubt if any remains. You can grow nearly anything here, but only on the fertile green tiles. And peeps that travel too far from the village will get fatigued. It's hot out there, it looks hot. But that's, uh, yeah, that's probably yeah, quite standard in the desert. So they need appropriate clothing to prevent that. So let's colonize this island there you go we've discovered a new asian technology and we discovered a ruined spaceship and we are going to discover that one in the next episode so with that we reached the end of the first episode and i must say i'm really enjoying this game and we'll definitely continue this series i'm really curious uh, what this game has to offer so um yeah we will uh definitely continue with this one on the channel and as mentioned in the beginning of the video before we leave will be released on the 8th of may 2020 and will be available in the epic game store and i will put a link down in the description so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you hit that like button and if you didn't do it already make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any new content and i will speak to you guys in the next one goodbye